Aquarius. Happy Saturday. I hope that you are doing amazing. Let's get you a reading. Thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, commented and subscribed. I've not interacted much on the channel, but thank you so much. Much appreciated for all your comments, your feedback, what have you on everything that I have posted. Okay. Please bear with me. I am a busy lady. <laughs> I am. Right. Let's get you a reading, Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to be aware of? We're going to be drawing for some Kipper cards first, then we're going to be getting into the tarot. If you have booked a personal reading with me, I have uploaded personal readings, so they are on the way. Please check your inbox, okay, to get your personal links. Thank you so much for booking with me. If you are interested in personal readings, please contact me at blackbutterflydiamondtarot at gmail.com and I'll send you all the details. Let's see what you need to know. Messages for Aquarius, please. What does Aquarius need to know? Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Aquarius needs to be aware of at this time. I hope that you are feeling safe, loved and protected at this time. We've got mature woman. Who had that? I swear it was Capricorn yesterday. Occupation in the reverse. I got something, but let's get out some cards. Some more cards. They know. Expectation. Adjudication. This is not going to resonate for everybody, but I've got to say what I got. You could work in a workplace where somebody wants you to lose your job. So be careful of not putting your best foot forward. OK, there could be somebody who wants to get you in some sort of trouble. So make sure you're dotting your I's, crossing your T's. You're doing what you need to be doing work wise. There's somebody who could be watching you very closely and waiting for you to slip up to lose your job or to lose your position. This could be a person of authority. This definitely could be. Where I, to be honest, I have both masculine and feminine energies, but feminine is coming out more strong. There could be somebody who wants somebody else to have a position over you or they are waiting for you to slip up to give your position to somebody else. And whoever that somebody else is, they favour that person because they're linked to them romantically. Or this is a person who is it's their family member. There's a connection to whoever it is that they want to replace you with. Be very careful. Be vigilant. Bad health in the reverse. The lovers. Pathway. Somebody doesn't like how well your 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 how well you family room in the reverse. It could definitely be family that they're trying to replace you with, with change. Somebody really is gunning for your job and they want to give it to someone else. And that's not going to resonate with everybody. Not everybody goes to a place of work. For instance, some of you work at home. Um, some of you may not work with a lot of people. You know, you could. Yeah, There's various lines of work that people do we're not going to get all into that but there's something about somebody wanting to replace you somebody here doesn't like how liked you are how well you do your job somebody's waiting for you to slip up and they've been waiting for a while and this is somebody who's seeing that they can't make you fall into some sort of trap Yeah, very specific, very, very specific, okay? Let's get you a spread of tarot. That's not going to resonate with everybody. I'm aware of that, okay? I only take what resonates. Some messages may not be for you.
messages for Aquarius. Let's get you a spread. What does Aquarius need to be aware of at this time? The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. The Eight of Pentacles. Somebody wants you to lose your job. I can't get away from that. Or if it's not a job, they want you to lose a position of something that you are doing at this time. Aquarius, whether this is a goal of yours, some sort of um, level of attainment. This could even be study, you know, school of some kind. You're studying for a diploma or some sort of um, certificate here. Somebody doesn't want you to achieve this. Somebody either wants you to fail, they don't want you to have an opportunity here, but this is something that you're currently working on. This is something that you, it's either a craft or a place of work. You are very hardworking at whatever this is. You're very consistent in whatever this is that you do, but there's an opportunity that somebody wants you to either miss or they want you to lose. Watch your surroundings. The lovers came out twice, yeah. The Eight of Swords. The Hanged One. It's like somebody's trying to back you into a corner. Be careful of anybody spreading rumours about you and something that you do for work. Because it's to throw you off an end goal. With the star card, yeah, with your energy. That's Aquarian energy. It's to throw you off succeeding. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. This is very specific, guys. The Six of Pentacles. Somebody could be spreading gossip to alter something about how people view you or a perception here within a workplace or within a dynamic of a group of people with the Six of Pentacles. This person spreads. I'm getting a spreading energy. They drop little nuggets of information so people can kind of talk and gossip about you to kind of build up some sort of different narrative here. Very, very calculated person with the high priestess. The page of wands is here. The queen of cups in the reverse. Somebody doesn't want people to like you. I don't know. Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy. The Emperor. This could definitely be a boss. Somebody at your job. Aries energy. They don't like how strong you are. How you're able to complete a lot. on. Yeah, you could be very multitask, multifaceted. You could be very good at multitasking. Somebody's very jealous about how you handle yourself at work. Or something about how you do a craft. Or how you put work into something. I'm trying to be as, you know, expand it as much as I can. But I am definitely getting work vibes or some sort of craft. Or this is definitely somebody who views you as competition. But I don't feel like they tell you this. This could even be somebody who claims to have love for you. You know, somebody who maybe or you, you may go to lunch with this person or there may be some sort of relationship between the two of you. It doesn't have to be romantic. But somebody with the high priestess secretly does something to kind of sabotage you, whether it's big or not. It could be very, very small and covert what they're doing, but it's being done with the Six of Pentacles. And this is somebody who's gunning for your position of power, your stability here is, you know, some sort of energy of you succeeding, you getting something that you deserve because you work hard for it. Some of you Aquarians could be dealing with a Gemini, a Pisces here, a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a water sign, um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Somebody really wants to alter how people view you. They don't want you to have love. They don't want you to connect with people. They don't want you to come across likable. This is somebody who kind of wants to back you in a corner. And it has a lot to do with some sort of passion. You know, how you're liked. You could be a very happy-go-lucky type of person. You could definitely be a person who gets a lot of attention here. Or there's some sort of buzz surrounding something that you put out or you do. Somebody wants you to miss out on an opportunity. 
Be careful of somebody also not distracting you, creating a distraction to make you miss out on an opportunity. Oh, it's okay. You don't have to study tonight. You can come out with us and have fun, paint the town red, go out, have drinks, go to the club, what have you. And you can miss out on that revision or miss out on studying for that test or miss out on doing that work on that paper or writing your dissertation or whatever have you it's okay come out with us you don't need to you know have a good night's sleep so you're fresh for work um knowing that you're up for a promotion or you're working on gaining a level of you know stepping up somehow a new pay bracket you know some sort of promotion being in the running to have a position of leadership this is an energy who is secretly sabotaging you they want you to be stuck with the Eight of Swords. They don't want you to be light. They don't want you to have zest. This is somebody who doesn't want you to move, who just wants you to just stay, like stay and be stuck in your head, not have the ideas that you have, not be able to multitask how you do, be stuck with the hands one and the Queen of Cups in the reverse. They don't really have love for you. This is a false person. What is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? The Knight of Wands and the uh, Knight of Swords. Eight of Cups. Somebody wants you to walk away from an opportunity really badly. The Four of Wands. This could be at an establishment. Four of Wands can't talk about a place. The star in the reverse. Somebody wants you to give up. And this is you. Somebody wants you to be in the reverse. Somebody wants you to be distorted. Somebody wants you to lose hope. Lose drive for something. I don't know who this is around you, but I'd be very, very careful. Who is this person to Aquarius? Who is this person to Aquarius? This high princess energy. The two of cups in the reverse. Two of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords with the Five of Wands. You had some sort of past conflict with this person, whether you fell out in the past or you could have spoken some sort of harsh truths to this person. You definitely, th there was a demotion of a connection. So, for example, if you were partnered up with this person, say this was your lover, say this was a romantic partner, right? With the two of cups in the reverse, you could have demoted this person from being your lover to only being a friend. I do feel like this person has some sort of access to you. However, whatever capacity that is, but there's a lot that they hide from you. There's some sort of hidden, I want to say animosity with the five of wands. They don't like you. And I feel like this person still harbours something from the past where you demoting them or you setting a boundary or you telling them about something that you didn't like. You could have had an argument with this person here. Um, it's almost thrown them into a energy of they don't want you to succeed because you cut them off or they don't want you to succeed because they no longer hold precedence in your life or they no longer come as the priority that they once held in your life. They're not up there anymore. They, they've been demoted. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. The Nine of Swords. Somebody wants you to be stressed, worried. This could even be somebody who piles on more work. So you're not able to function. You know, so you're not able to see anything else. So all you've got the capacity to do is worry, stress, put your hands over your eyes and just fold somebody wants you to fold this is not a nice energy talk about the queen of cups in the reverse queen of pentacles somebody doesn't want you to be liked at work something that you're doing they're trying to block you Aquarius, this person's trying to block you. This could be somebody very, very jealous of you. I 
I don't know why this person's so obsessed with you. The devil card is not here, but this person has some sort of underhanded obsession with you and your success or who you are as a person. And I do feel like this person kind of had a more prominent place in your life previously. Whether you work with this person, you could be a friend to this person, this could be an ex. They're still in your energy. But this is somebody who doesn't know how to feel about your success or how stable you're coming off. They don't want other people to see you as successful. They want people to be unsure about you. They want you to be unsure about yourself. And the reason why is because they don't want you to have the Ace of Pentacles. They don't want you to have opportunity. They don't want you to have a blessing. It could be something specific that you're working on, definitely. But this is a person who wants to serve as a blockage to some sort of forward movement, some sort of grounding that you've got going on with the Queen of Pentacles. The Emperor. Could definitely be a, a person in, at your workplace, the Knight of Wands. Somebody who comes off very, very kind of stable, but they're everything but that. This is somebody who is not as stable as what they come off. They put on a mask in an environment here with the Ten of Wands. But it's not it's not real, so it's like they can't uphold this how you do. There's something about you being very genuine. And they're not, so they struggle to keep the mask. But you don't. But they don't want people to like you because you don't. <sighs> With the Knight of Pentacles, and it's about your consistency, your hard work. You show up on time. You show up when you need to show up. You show up and you do what you need to do consistently. You don't miss a step. The Fool. Somebody wants you to make a poor choice. So they can hold, they can take a position. I'm telling you, Aquarius, Seven of Swords. And somebody's very secretive, very shysty. I would be very, very careful who's around you. With the Five of Swords, Aquarius, somebody's very jealous of you. They want you to slip up. This is somebody who wants you with the Fool to make a wrong move or... There's something here about you making some sort of false, some sort of wrong move, wrong step. I'm waiting on the day when Aquarius steps wrong so I can step in. Keep it quiet, but do something to sabotage. They will be the whistleblower on whatever mistake or F up that you do. However small that is in whatever this is. They're waiting for you to step wrong. Whether this is a workplace, okay? I'm going to wait for the day when Aquarius shows up late and then i'm going to go to the boss and you know be reckless in kind of like trashing this person saying oh they showed up late and then they showed up and they weren't wearing the proper uniform or this happened and whatever and they they didn't switch off the coffee machine and there's something about a person ready to rat you out or ready to sabotage you ready to trip you up If this is something that you are working on, for example, online, somebody is waiting for you to make a mistake or they're waiting for you to have one bad review of your business so they can kind of jump on that and then comment and say, yeah, I had bad service too. This is a person who's waiting for a slip up so they can sabotage you, trip you up. And it has something to do with how you they have been demoted in your life you set a boundary with this person or you no longer favor them how you used to i do feel like this person you speak to you communicate with this person in some degree whether that's very briefly whether it's very short communication with the high priestess whether you just work with this person and you walk past them you do connect with this person in some way shape or form your energies do pass each other at some point this is not somebody who you're completely cut off from but i do feel like you have a past where you had to stand up for yourself or there was a conflict and you could have reevaluated with the two of pentacles and the two of cups that this person doesn't deserve the place that they had in your life whether that is i'm not going to be friends with you so i'm not going to be so close with you 
And they, they, they ever since that, whatever that, that was, ever since that, this person has never felt the same about you. And this person is waiting for you to make a mistake and trip up so they can say, ha, Aquarius, I knew they were going to do that. Um, you see, you see, you see, you see what I told you about the Aquarius. They will be the first, the loudest, the wrong, the strong, big mouth open to tell everybody about your shortfall and your mistake. They will be up there on the rooftop shouting it out to everybody how your crown is crooked. Be careful with who you have in your energy. Because you've got somebody who is shysty and they're not going to tell you that they're shysty. This is somebody who will shout off the rooftops, make sure that you're not looking. And then when you come round the corner, hop off at the back of the house um, from the rooftop and act like that it wasn't them shouting your name, speaking your name, speaking ill on what you're doing or exacerbating a situation to make it worse than what it is. Throwing rocks and hiding your hands. I would be extremely extremely careful with who you have around you especially at work especially with an opportunity somebody wants to trip you up will they be successful that sounds like a question that we need to ask with the king of cups and the four of cups and the ace of swords will they be successful in this pursuit to trip you up the Knight of Cups, will they be successful? The Hermit in the reverse and the Six of Wands. <laughs> they might as well quit while they are wherever it is that they are. And I'm not even going to say that this person's ahead. With the Hermit in the reverse, this person may as well stop. With the Knight of Cups, the Six of Wands, they're not going to be able to alter people's perception of you. You are still going to be received in a positive way with the Six of Wands. You know, whatever fugazi energy or illusion with the Seven of Cups that this person is trying to paint, it's not going to work. If anything, it's going to make them feel more lost. Could be a Virgo with the King of Coins. No, you're still going to come out on top. You're still going to have this success. And I do feel like this is workplace energy with the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. There's some, you're still going to be crowned. See, he has a crown. You're still going to be crowned. You're still going to get the position with the two of coins. And it's because you keep focused and you, you still juggle the plates with the judgment card. Somebody is very, very insecure. While you're around, they're very insecure. This is somebody who will do anything for people to change their perception. With the emperor, it could be an Aries, somebody at your place of work. The moon, very jealous of you. Oh, and the justice with the four of coins. Yeah, this person is very jealous of you. Four of coins, this person who doesn't tell you that they dislike you. The justice card in the moon. You're stronger than this person spiritually. That's not even the moon. That's the high priestess. I just realized I thought that was the moon card. You're stronger than this person spiritually. I know why I said that now. It was channeled. Justice and the high priestess. You can't be moved. This person needs to seek some sort of guidance here for them themselves. This is somebody who spends so much time trying to drag somebody else down. Judgment. They're being judged for this. Because what's going to happen is they're going to realise that the success that they are trying to stop you from gaining, they are not going to be able to gain any level of success spending so much time, energy, resources on trying to block you or trying to knock you down off of a pedestal with the hand one. Yeah, they're putting so much work into trying to alter perception, trying to trip you up with the four of swords. It's like it's putting them at a standstill with the three of wands it's making their manifestation slow down and then they're wondering with the nine of wands why is this happening why are things so uncomfortable for me why am i not progressing why am i waiting so long for manifestations why do things seem to be at a standstill why am i stuck with the two of swords and it's because they're creating their own blockage putting their own self in spiritual jail while you move forward Queen of Wands and the Chariot card. Be very careful of your circle right now. 
This person won't be successful. Don't give it energy. Energy needs to be fed in order to be successful. If you don't feed the energy, the energy dies. Okay? The energy dies. Ace of Cups. The Four of Wands and the Two of Cups. Energy dies. Okay? Keep flourishing. Keep loving what you do. Keep being at one with self with the Two of Cups and with the Five of Cups. Yeah, somebody's just going to have to be sad, regretful over trying to drag down your energy. Stay in your power, stay in your confidence and people are going to like you. Yeah, you're going to get the partnerships. You're going to get people wanting to collaborate with you. You're going to get people loving your work, whatever it is that you're putting out there. And somebody else will be cho will have to choose to put their energy into something else, invest in something else, not drama. Invest in your future. Okay, invest in manifesting good for you. Aquarius, that is what I have for you. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, Aqua, I will see you soon. You take care. Bye.